Why are there differences in the prices of cable charging cords? So when we're looking at a cable, the first thing we've always got to look at in any charge cable is that, is it a charge cable or is it a data cable? Probably most cables that are out there are charge cables, which means they do not work with data. So that's the first thing when we're looking at price. Is it a charge cable? Is it a charge and data cable? The other thing is that these cables are what we say 2.4 amps, meaning that if you cut this cable open and you count the number of copper wires in it, you'll find a lot more copper wires, which means you plug that into the computer, you plug that into the phone, and the amount of current that comes out of the computer travels along all these copper wires and into your phone. It allows faster current, faster speed, and as your computer is pushing energy out, you've got a lot more copper wire that's absorbing that energy and causing the output to go into your phone. So it's important to have a lot more copper wire. So the other part with all cables, of course, is the componentry, what they're manufactured from, um, the packaging that's involved, and again, even the little number of connectors. So I guess today with cables, it is critical that you have two inputs. You have a type A input and you have a type C input. Laptop, many laptops today do not have the type A input, only the type C. So you've got both. And when it comes to output, essentially, you're covering pretty much, I'd say, all phones being Lightning, Apple, Android, the majority, and Micro being phased out. It's still important when it maybe comes to things like cameras that you can charge your camera.